name's Tim Snowden, and I'm the music convener here at the Bath Royal Literary and Scientific Institution at 16 Queen Square. We have a variety of interesting talks on the music programme here at Brilsey, everything from prog rock through to classical music and the blues. And we have an upcoming talk on the Native American flute very shortly. And I'm here with the speaker for that event, Dave Merrick, who's very kindly come in to tell us a little bit about uh, that particular talk. Dave, welcome. Thanks for having me, Tim. Now, it's not the first time you've been here at Brilsey. No, it's not. Uh, we were here uh, a, a few months ago, and um, we did a talk on the classic women's blues of the 1920s, Bessie Smith, etc. And uh, we played live music there. I was with a, a wonderful um, vocalist called Natalie Davis, and we had a wonderful evening. And at that event, it was a talk, but we also had live music in the room from you and Natalie. And it was a very, very lively evening. Um, this one is a very different style of music. We're going to have live music again. Certainly, we'll, we'll, we'll have live music. We'll play about four or five live numbers. I, I will have with me a wonderful guitar player called Clive Mills. And together, we formed, um, about two years ago now, a duo called Inner Voice um, with guitar and Native American flute. Um, we're looking forward to, 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 to playing for you. Brilliant. So tell us, how did you get interested in this particular genre and you know what, what inspired this talk? Yeah. Well, I, I, I was in uh, the USA, in New Mexico, and I picked up a book by a wonderful um, musician, uh, flute player called Carlos Nikai, um, and I read the book quite avidly because it it's just extremely interesting to me. And then I noticed that there was a place where I could buy a flute. So I did. Um, and as a beginner, obviously, I bought an inexpensive flute and uh, started to play it and essentially followed my nose and got reasonably on top of it and uh, took it from there, really. And in, I, I did, during lockdown, make a CD of, of music that I'd been putting up on YouTube and I was contacted by the Native American Flute Awards Society um, who asked me to enter into their awards scheme and I was very, very honoured to receive awards from them in, in 2020 and 2021, which I felt gave me permission to, to, to continue with the flute. And also I kind of felt gave me a, a little bit of an obligation to publicised, you know, the fact of this wonderful instrument, really, and bring it to a wider audience, I hope. Brilliant. And so it sounds like you're coming from a, a very good place where you're clearly passionate about the, the music. Absolutely. Uh, you've been recognised for it. This talk will um, tell us a little bit about the background of the instrument, live music in the room, sure. and q and I suspect. Yes, and uh, I, I've attended many of your wonderful events here, and... Uh, I really look forward to the, I enjoy the events very much, but I think it's a great part of the event that you have a, a decent amount of time for questions, answers and discussions. And I will absolutely do my level best to answer all the questions that come up. Um, but, yeah, you know, I'll do my best. Whether I can answer them all, I don't know. But I'll, <laughs> I will give it my absolute best shot. Well, there we have it. Bring your questions if you can come on Monday the 20th of November, 7.30pm, here at the Bath Royal Literary and Scientific Institution, 16 Queen Square. And of course, if you can't make it in person, you can also get tickets to watch on Zoom. All tickets are available on the website, that's brlsi.org, uh, or you can you know, come down to Queen Square and buy your tickets at the front desk. Um, all that's left to say is thank you very much, Dave. We're very much looking forward to the talk and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks for having me again and we're really looking forward to it.